The concept of a business model canvas can be very intimidating for people, but it doesn't have to be. If you break it down into the different components, it's actually very simple. I'm starting a print on demand t-shirt business with my husband. And I thought while I'm going through the process of figuring out who my customers are and what I'm actually going to be doing, I will take you on the journey with me. And in this mini series, I will take you through each of the components of the business model canvas, explain it, and then share with you how I'm using that in my business that I'm starting now. So today I'm going to be starting with the value proposition. So first let's just understand what is a value proposition. This is the core part of your business. It's the fundamental reason why you have a business. The value proposition is what solution you are bringing to a problem that you have identified in the market. And in your value proposition, you should also be able to distinguish how you are different from others offering the same services or products. But in order to have a value proposition, you need to have a problem. So many people have a solution first before they have a problem. They think, you know what, I've been having some problems with something. It would be so great if there was this or this or this in the market to address this problem that I'm personally having. I haven't checked with anybody else, but I'm having this problem and I think this is a great solution. So I'm going to start building something that is going to be a solution for that one problem that I experienced. And I'm going to make it an incredible solution that everybody is going to want. And very often, that's when people start building the business. And you might think, well, what's wrong with that? The issue here is, have you checked if someone else was also experiencing the same problem and that if you are developing a solution that it will actually be beneficial for more than one person, more than just you. That is called market research and we will address market research in a different video. For now, let's focus on the value proposition. So I said we want to start a print on demand t-shirt business. That means I want to create the designs and I only print the t-shirts when people order it. So I don't have to sit with stock up front. Perhaps a small little amount of stock. We haven't really sorted it out, but it's not like I want to keep an inventory at home um, or like a warehouse somewhere and then distribute from there to save on the cost. Because it's a startup that we're starting at home in our free time, it needs to be bootstrapped. up. I don't want to waste unnecessary capital right now. So my husband is not in the business world. So we sat down and we started working on a little bit of a strategy. But while I'm busy doing market research, I'm also going to start planning what kind of business model I have in mind. So my husband followed exactly the same strategy that many people do. He said to me, let's make cool t-shirts. I can't find cool t-shirts, let's make cool t-shirts. I said, okay, great idea. Let's just sit down and discuss if there's an actual problem that we might be solving. But the moment I used the word business model canvas, my husband was like, mm, no, no, I'm not doing that. That is your field, I, that's too much work. So, I figured while I'm going to break it down for him, might as well break it down for you. So this little mini-series is all about keeping things as simple as possible and not overcomplicating it. But please don't stress when we mention the word business model canvas. It's basically just breaking your business up into small little components and describing that section or that operational part of your business. And you might think, what problem do people have when it comes to t-shirts? You might actually have a problem. It's not a life-changing problem, but it's still a problem because fashion is an aspect of people's lives. And if they don't find what they're looking for, it's a problem. It's a pain point. Pain points are the most crucial factors that you have to understand of customers because that's how you convert them. If you can fix or address their pain points, but that's for another video. So let's look if we have a problem. So the t-shirt is not for me. So I'm going to run you through his answers why he thought there was a problem. Uh, he can't find cool t-shirts. The ones that he can find, he deems are too expensive. These are the t-shirts at H&M, uh, uh, Cotton On, some of our local stores. They're nice t-shirts, but they're not the greatest designs. They're not cool designs and they're quite pricey. So he's not willing to pay for that. So maybe there are more people like that out there. Uh, it's a mission to get there. So either you have to buy online and they have limited ranges or you have to go to the shops. He doesn't have time, he's got a busy work schedule. Then he raised an interesting point that the t-shirts available, the designs are more tailored for the younger generations. It doesn't appeal to him. So he wants something for a different generation, a different persona, uh, someone with different lifestyle perhaps than a young person in his teens or just starting out in his 20s. And although there are very cool t-shirts all over the world, where we are in South Africa, the international shipping is quite costly. You know, you sometimes pay more for shipping than you actually pay for the t-shirt. So that's not really an option right now. So when I was listening to him, it kind of made sense to me. I, I could hear that there could be a problem. 
So he started talking with people at work and asking them, so what do they think? Do, where do they buy t-shirts? Do they like their t-shirts? And it's a pretty common feeling so far that they also don't find the cool design. Their answer is typically, it depends on the design, I'll have to see it. But if I have to summarize the value proposition, if I have to describe my business in two sentences, and they often refer to an elevator pitch, which means if you were to get into an elevator with someone and you have two minutes while you go up or down, would you be able to describe your business in those two minutes? But a part of the pitch is the purpose behind your business. And a purpose is different than a problem. The problem that I think I'm solving is providing cool t-shirts for a customer segment that are not finding cool t-shirts. But there is a purpose behind this. And we need to hone down on the purpose because that is often the selling point for people if you connect with them emotionally or that they share the same purpose. So what potentially could be a purpose or the why about an on-demand t-shirt printing business? And I actually thought about this. So hear me out. How about this as a purpose? I want to make older men feel cool with, with rad t-shirts. These are men working hard, they have families to support, perhaps they are dads, and they might feel worn down by the stressful environment at work. Maybe they have small kids and it's just really stressful with small kids in their house. Maybe they are having marital problems. But you know, life can be tough in your 30s because you're just done with the party phase of your 20s. You're not old, like 48, but you are really sometimes struggling to find your identity because things keep changing. You move, you change jobs, you have kids, you marry. So there are a lot of changes. And perhaps these men feel like they lose touch with their inner child. And I want to connect them with their inner child that if they feel that they lose touch in what is going on in their daily lives right now, I can bring them a little bit of youth to remind them of the fact that they are not just an employee, they're not just a dad, they are a cool young man. And perhaps that would put a smile on their face and they can come home feeling excited to take off their suit and put on one of our rad cool t-shirt designs that is uplifting and make them feel, you know what, there's more to life than just work. Life is worth living. Perhaps you think that's a little bit exaggerated, but don't you feel that emotion? Don't you feel like you perhaps relate to the fact that life is worth living? I feel like that's a slogan somewhere already, so I probably won't use it, but the concept of there's more to life than what is happening right now if you're not in a good space, and I want to give you that little bit of fun back. There's a purpose for you. So now, if I have to put it together as a value proposition, what would I say to someone in an elevator? Would I tell them, yes, I'm running an on-demand t-shirt printing business. Or I might tell them that I'm bringing a little bit of the youth back for men in their 30s and 40s by providing them with really cool and creative t-shirts that they can put on after a long day of work to put a smile on their face. It's not a perfect value proposition, but it's a start. As I'm also trying to figure out where we are going in this business, I would be able to better define it. But I need to start at least by saying, is there something to make a business off? Make sure you don't miss out on the rest of this mini series by subscribing and leave any comments below if you have business ideas that you are working on. And let me know what the purposes of your businesses are, not what problems you are solving. What is the purpose behind it? If you can define that, your business is off to a good start. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.